the day that it hit me, the it was my birthday weekend in like 20, I don't know, probably 2015 or 14. No, I don't know, 13 or 14. And I drank three days in a row. And I would get like my son, when I would get hung over at this point, I'd be drinking for so long that like, it would almost feel like my brain was just numb. I'd kind of wake up, I'd kind of like float through the day and have panic attacks and think I'm going to die. But if I got through that day, then I would wake up the next day and be fine. And I kind of just rolled with that for a long time and just thought I was having really bad hangovers. And this week, that weekend that it happened, I don't, we ended up going out in roosters cause it was a long weekend. It was like the Sunday night and I actually didn't feel bad during the night. Like it, it felt good and I was part, it was all good. And then I got a ride home and I woke up in the morning and I just never felt like that before. And I don't know, I've always had a really hard time explaining it, but it literally felt like, I, like my brain was just gone. Like I was sitting that night too. My parents had um, organized a birthday dinner and they were like going to go over and, you know, have dinner with the family for your birthday. And I had to tell my dad I couldn't come because I just, I couldn't even, I didn't even know what to do. I couldn't talk. I couldn't, I could talk, but like, I just couldn't think or comprehend anything. I remember just sitting there because when I'm normally was hungover, I would just watch a movie and chill and like, I don't know, the, the, just watching the movie just helped me get my mind off dying or whatever I was thinking. And I couldn't even think, like I couldn't even, I don't know, I couldn't feel anything. Like I'd watch a comedy movie, couldn't laugh, couldn't do anything. You watch like a drama, rom-com, I didn't feel sad. I just felt like I wasn't even there. And I kind of just let it go for a while. I just thought at this time, like, okay, I'll just get through today. It'll be like every other time I'll wake up tomorrow and I'll be fine. And that just never happened. Um, three months went by and I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Like I couldn't get to, I couldn't work. I literally, I could barely eat. I couldn't do anything. And at this point it's when I went to see my doctor. I'd never talked to my doctor about anxiety or this is a normal doctor like a traditional yeah this is our family doctor so i'd never talked to like anybody who was a practitioner or anything before this and i went there and i was like okay man i'm fucking dying like i'm fucked i don't know what's going on and like some of the things i was having were um i couldn't stay hydrated like as much as much water as i drank or um I would just always like pee like pure yellow and it would like burn. And I, it was just like, it was going right through me. It didn't matter. And the same thing with food. It Like I couldn't, anything I ate, it just went right through me. Like I wasn't absorbing anything. It pretty much had got to the point where like I'd put my body through so much shit that it, that it's, I mean, it just started shutting down. It wasn't doing anything it was supposed to do anymore. I feel like I just put it into like full shock mode And so I went to him, I'm like, man, like, this is what's happening. I don't know what the fuck's going on. My brain's fucked. And I'm like trying to explain the heart. I could still to this day, I I almost feel like stupid when I have to explain how I felt because I don't even know. I can't explain it. It's like an impossible thing to explain. And I would go into the dark and be like, yeah, like my, like, it feels like my brain's gone. And they're like, well, (laughs) what the fuck does that mean? I'm like, well, man, I don't know. That's the problem. Like, I'm so fucked. And he's like, okay, we'll just take some of this out of end and you'll, you'll be good. Just take that. And I'm like, dude, I fucking know what this is. So I leave, I get the bottle. I was way too scared to take it. So I never took it. And cause I knew I was like, man, like, okay, fine. Like I get it. I feel fucked up right now. This will help me feel calm. But then the second that it wears off, then what? I just take another one. Like, how is that even doing anything? Mm-hmm. So right off the bat, like I wasn't open to trying any of that stuff. So I would just get them and throw them in the garbage. And then I'd sit there for another three weeks and die in bed. Like I remember just literally laying in bed every day, like getting up to get a glass of water or anything just seemed insane. Like my body had never felt so weak. It's like I could barely even lift myself up or like out of bed or to move. And So I would go see, I went to see him again, I think probably a few, like a, 
I think I saw him like once every couple weeks for like three months. I'd go back, same thing. He's like, man, you should maybe like try and get some exercise. I'm like, dude, like I'm so fucking dead. Like I can't exercise. There's no way. And I try, I remember trying, I would get up and I would walk, like our house was in the middle of a block pretty much, sort of like, I think that's still a block that way, but sort of in the middle. And for me to like leave the house and walk to the, the stop sign, literally thought, I it, it was, it literally just thought I was going to die the whole way. I'm like going there, I'm like, I'm going to have a fucking heart attack, I can't do it. It seemed like it seemed so insane to be able to, to go there. Like I became so secluded to my room also that it's like, that was the only place where I kind of felt, I don't know, maybe safe or calm or comfortable. Like going outside of my house was, was a really hard thing to do. Um, but at that time too, I also remember that you were like, would fucking basically have to drag me out of the room sometimes. Or like we go for a walk or whatever, or even going to the doctor, I couldn't drive myself there. You would have to take me <laughs> all the time because I was way, I, like the panic attacks were so bad. Like, it's like my brain was just going insane and I couldn't, like there's no way I could drive. It was hard enough for me to just get in the passenger seat. Um, yeah, you mentioned,